I don't think it's a stretch to call Diablo 2 one of the most influential games of all time. It pioneered the action RPG genre, and without it we probably wouldn't have many of the games that currently dominate the market today, like Dark Souls, The Witcher, or Skyrim. So why is Diablo 2 so iconic? There are a lot of reasons. It introduced several mechanics that would become staples of the RPG genre, like character building, skill trees, and searching for loot. Diablo 2 also came out in 2000, at a time when games were much more basic than they are today. So Diablo's developers had to use the limited resources at their disposal to create an immersive gaming experience. One of the ways they did this was through the game's art style, which was 2D and as a result very simple, but still detailed enough to set a mood. But the most effective aspect of Diablo 2, which I think helped it become the classic we know today, might be its music. The soundtrack was created over three years by the composer Matt Ullman. To create the score, Ullman combined samples and live recordings and brought in some unusual influences, like 70s heavy metal and folk music, alongside industrial ambient sounds. Rather than being over the top and cartoony, like a lot of video game music in the 90s, Ullman deliberately set out to create music that was more toned down and realistic, and which reflected the player's progression as they ventured deeper into Diablo's world. For example, the music in the first act starts off relatively peaceful, the opening piece, called Rogue, is mysterious, but not frightening. In fact, it reworks melodies from the theme of the original Diablo game as a way to draw on players' nostalgia. But the music quickly gets more tense and creepy. String sections come in, along with jangling guitars and drums, which make for an unsettling atmosphere, which only gets more intense as you fight your way through tougher and tougher enemies. But more than evoking emotions, the score also sets the scene. A great example of this is the song Toru from Act 2, which plays when you're in town. In contrast to the Western and medieval-inspired music from Act 1, this song prominently features a Chinese wind gong and other instruments from around the world. As Ullman explains, as a composer just looking at the art for Act 2, something starts to speak to you. Things felt very old, very ancient. So I started thinking about the instrument called the duduk. In real life, it's an instrument that originated in Armenia. It's one of the oldest instruments there is, and thanks to Hollywood, the average person kind of associates it with sorts of biblical era stories where there are deserts and cities that have been buried in the sand. It conjures up a certain feeling about the space and what it might mean. In other words, Ullman's music is just as much a part of how the game sets the scene as the artwork, and it's a crucial part of the game's atmosphere. In fact, it influenced the rest of the game itself. Russell Brower, Blizzard's senior director of audio, says that the music totally worked, and was not only accepted as a soundtrack for a game, but also went on to become a huge part of the Diablo universe, adding that the music was starting to get really big and really powerful. It pointed us in the direction of where to go. So why does the music work so well? The key word is story, says Brower. Diablo may not look like much, it may all be grey textures and stuff, but you can still get a sense of scale and atmosphere. This is largely thanks to the music. In the end, I think that's what makes Diablo 2's soundtrack such a classic. Rather than being about jump scares or cheap thrills, it carefully sets a mood and sense of place, and evolves as your character does as you adventure through the world of the game, which I think points to a larger truth about music in video games. A lot of the time when game soundtracks are doing their job well, we don't notice the music at all. Instead, the score blends seamlessly with the rest of the game and helps to create an immersive player experience. But sometimes it can be helpful to stop and remember that. So next time you're lost in a game, take a moment or two to listen out for the score and appreciate the time and creativity that was put into it. As a great philosopher once said, stay a while and listen.
thanks so much for watching guys um please let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments also anything you think i might have missed or left out and maybe any cool memories you have of the diablo 2 soundtrack or the game itself um yeah and also let me know if you have any suggestions for things i take a look at for future videos and other than that yeah thanks again and hopefully i'll see you next time